Oh, come up here. Yeah. Cheers. Well, questions for Ethan? Not that I, I saw you uh, checking out the locker room in the front of the line. Mm. What were your thoughts? Just getting to see that, kind of knowing since you've been here since 2019 when they first started talking about this project. Yeah, it was crazy. You know, um, with the construction here, I've seen it every day, but I've, I haven't been inside. So just seeing like it had like full circle, it coming together was awesome. It was way more than I thought it was going to be. The locker room's like three times the size as our last one. And we got nice pools. You've seen it all. It's, it's incredible. Anything that has exceeded my expectations. So, you know, uh, I just think my favorite part about the locker room is like um, we got nice speakers, the mus music always playing, and there's a good center for everyone to be around. Um, uh, I got to explore it more. Uh, like, we've been busy. <laughs> I, I haven't even seen most of the stuff yet. Um, but yeah, it's it's just so far, it's been great. So, yes, yep. We we're using the all the recovery units. The training staff has transitioned over there. So, You know, it just leaves no excuse for you being sluggish for a practice or whatever. We have all the like, uh, all the resources necessary to come in recovered, hydrated, and everything, and that just should uh, um, overall should just take a step in our performance every single day. And um, I don't know. I just think it's we have all the resources to uh, succeed and be elite here at Nebraska. Is there anything Not really. You know, the biggest thing I look at is how much how much sweat I lose <laughs> after practice, and usually that's in the high numbers, and that's my biggest thing is recovering. If I know if I make that up the next day, then I know I recovered right. So, I lost like uh, 10 pounds, and that's after hydrating. So, you know, it's it shows your mental toughness. You know, um, fall camp for us this last year, or we just got done with fall camp and. It was like 80 degrees every single day. It was nice, cloudy, um, and this is brutal right now. So for me, it's just a way to callous your mind. I come out. You got to come out, work, work like you've always been working, but you just got to be able to adjust and push through that hot and humid environment. So what, what are the adjustments? What do you have to do when it's this hot? You just got to you got to focus on yourself um, and the people around you. You got to lean on people around. Um, but most of all, just focus on your technique. When you're out there, um, when it's that hot, like especially me, you could just see I mean, I'm just sweating right now, and you're like, oh man, you're just kind of getting that mode of uh, looking internally. And then once you feel that, then you kind of feel sluggish. But once you start looking externally, that's when you start doing good things out there. What, what kind of like added challenge is that? You know, does that does that help? You know, like for different scenarios to see in the season or anything like that? That's something challenging right now. Yeah, it's great. You know. Um, the, the hardest day um, throughout the week, each game week should be Monday or Tuesday and Wednesday is our hardest practices and game day should just be a, like a layup because you already put in the work for the weekend. You already know how the game's supposed to go. So um, yeah, it's just even coming out today, you just got to go and have the mentality that you win, you, you beat Minnesota today. So. You know, I, I, I keep them around, especially right now. I just try to get as, like you can tell, especially right now, I'm just sweating. And um, I'm a heavy sweater, so I'm always pushing fluids. I have a backpack just full of electrolytes that I just go. And um, I don't, the heat is not my friend, but usually when it gets cold, like that 20 degree weather, that's where I thrive at, so. Where do you, where do you think the offensive line is right now in terms of your progress? Like, have you guys been able to achieve the consistency you want from practice to practice? Yeah, I, I think we still have a long ways to go, but I think we've definitely taken strides in the right direction. The biggest thing right now, um, like I said, is just the heat. Um, and that's for a big guy, it's hard. We, we're in, as an offensive line, you don't get any breaks. You're going all the time. So again, like I said, we just got to callous our minds, every, like especially right now, because if we could practice hard for 40 plays straight in the heat right now, when it comes to any game down the line, there's no, there's no doubt in my mind that we could play 80, 80 plays straight and be fine. So, we were also talking about 
leaving trip up here. Uh, what's been your impression of him in fall camp, and, and what's it like blocking for some fullbacks now? You know, Barrett, um, when he first came, you could just tell there's something different about that man, just for the fact of he reminded me, you know, I, I grew up um, over Catholic. I've always heard about the 90s uh, football um, fullbacks. I've been around a lot of ex-players, and he reminded me exactly of like that 90s kind of chip on his shoulder fullback that's going to go drive somebody, like could go against anybody. So yeah, he's been a great addition to our team, and I think he brings, uh, he elevates our toughness as an offense unit. He's one of those guys that brings his toughness every day, so. You know, Minnesota kind of so close, but yet seems so far away, mm. you know, just about nine days. How much are you focused on that game while also, you know, focusing on the fundamentals and just getting better every day? You know, right now, um, that's the biggest thing we're just focused on Minnesota, but um, especially this week, this is not a great opportunity for us to go, like I said, it's hot outside to really um, put in the work. Um, we have, we're lucky to get Usually when we start school or we get done with camp, we have a, that game week is that first week, and we have a whole week before we go out and play Minnesota. So I think it has an opportunity just for another uh, three days to go grind and uh, just get that much better. So. How familiar are you with Minnesota? Obviously, you've played against them several times in your career. Yeah, you know, Minnesota, uh, same coaching staff. Um, they, uh, I don't think they're going to do anything different, but um, uh, we have all, like, a they they run a pretty basic defense compared to ours and um, should be a good uh, test just for our fundamentals that first game. So. Anything else for Ethan? Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.